Skill number five is, of course, grappling. Not only is grappling very effective, but it can also be highly engaging when working with... Yep. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm sorry, folks, that was legal. They were just saying not to include that skill because it's going to be part of our upcoming series, How to Persuade with Data. Greetings. In this video, I'm going to cover the top five soft skills you need as a data analyst to be successful in the enterprise. Let's get stuck in. Now, this top five is based off my 20 plus years of experience working in the enterprise, as well as being a big four analytics consultant. A caveat here is I'm not going to talk about the technical skills you need as a data scientist. Those should really be a given. Instead, I'm going to be covering the soft skills that I've seen over the years that have made a tremendous impact to people's careers and the outcomes of their analytics projects. So let's get started with number five. Skill number five, facilitation skills. Some of the biggest impacts I've seen in data and analytics is when an analyst can facilitate an experience, a consensus building exercise with a group of stakeholders when they're all together in a room or in a virtual meeting. While challenging, many big rocks can be addressed early on in the process. That's going to save us heartache later on in the journey. So facilitation skills for the win, though a word of caution. I have also been involved in sessions where it's gotten completely derailed and that derailment was magnified because all of those stakeholders were in a room together. So word of caution. Skill four, storytelling skills. Now this one's pretty obvious, but that's for good reason. The analyst that understands the narrative arc can capture the attention of the audience and bring them on a journey that leads to action. Storytelling is really a foundational skill that every data analyst should have. Moving on to skill number three, user experience. Even a basic knowledge and application of user experience principles can be a game changer for the data analyst. An example of a user experience skill would be leveraging personas in the gathering of requirements. It can be a way to push back on chart junk and maintain a focus on business value and impact. Onwards to skill number two, change awareness. It really is beyond me why this is not taught in schools and universities for data and analytics related professionals. It really has been a fundamental skill for my own success in my career of street fighting. But what is change awareness, you ask? Well, you've heard of change management, right? Change awareness is simply the knowledge or awareness that people need to be brought on a journey of change, that you need to go through a change process. Like user experience, you could of course spend four years studying change management and become a real expert in it, but I don't think you need to. Just having the awareness is already a great start and you're gonna see it pay dividends for you when you approach projects differently with that change mindset. And we've made it to skill number one, which is wireframing. Now you might not have been expecting that, but I put it up here because of the sheer practicality of it and everything that wireframing entails. In a nutshell, wireframing is mocking up the visual interface of how you're going to deliver your insights. Wireframing does a lot of things. It helps us build consensus, gain alignment with our stakeholders and drive towards value through action. Ultimately, it's gonna save us buckets of cash we shouldn't do any development on any interface or dashboard or report until we have consensus with our wireframes and we have a sign off on the wireframes. So we don't spend any time in development until we have that agreement. And your wireframes don't need to be fancy. They don't need to be done in Adobe Illustrator or XD. You can do them in PowerPoint. The lower fidelity sometimes even the better. I used to do these on whiteboards. I would use sticky notes. I'd keep it super low tech so that people didn't feel like there was a barrier of entry there. I could go on and on about the virtues of wireframing, particularly in PowerPoint. But for now, I'm going to leave you with your own PowerPoint wireframe template that you can get in the section below. If you like it, please consider commenting or following me. Also, I release content like this on a regular basis. Well, that's it, the top five soft skills I think you need to be successful as a data analyst in the enterprise. If you wanna learn a little bit more, you can go to the website, deliveringdataanalytics.com. You can also get my book, 
delivering data analytics, where I jump into these skills in a lot more detail. Thank you, and I'll see you again soon.